Hey everyone, how are you today? I hope you all are doing great. Today I wanted to pop on and do a what's in my bag update on my Saint Laurent Medium Lulu. As you know, I am the biggest Saint Laurent fan and Celine. Um, and so I've been using this as my daily bag nonstop. And I just want to do a what's in my bag and give you an update on how she's doing. Um, especially after the price increases a few months ago. I did a whole video on that. And so before we get into that, I'd like you to consider subscribing and giving me a thumbs up if you love all things luxury and handbags. So today, before I do my what's in my bag, I wanted to share my dossier unboxing. As you know, I am a dossier ambassador. I do not make any money, but they sent me a couple of fragrances for this month to share with you. So let's go ahead and see what they sent. This time they sent the Dior J'adore perfume and I do have this one in the uh, Dior version. Now they have Fruity Jasmine which smells just like it. I did compare the two before I um, started the video. I have my Dior in the other room and it smells identical. So if you're looking for paraben free, cruelty free, affordable option in the 30 to 40 dollar range some of them are like 29 dollars guys um consider dossier because i do love their fragrances i do think the quality is there i love that they're clean and they're cruelty free so this one smells just like my dior i think it's amazing and let's check out the second one i can't remember what the second one is that they sent oh my kitty cat just hopped in sorry guys he's um on the prowl right now Thomas I don't know if you guys remember from like three years ago on YouTube Thomas used to just come into the videos and lately he hasn't been this one is woody geranium which is like Mont Blanc um, my husband has uh, is from Morocco and he spent a lot of time in Europe so he really appreciates these European fragrances so I thought I'd pick up one for him this is Mont Blanc the top notes are mint red apple and pineapple Middle notes, geranium and lavender. Base notes, sandalwood, cedarwood, and tonka bean. So this is a unisex fragrance, but I do think it leans towards ma um, masculine. So he does love this fragrance, and I thought, let's check out the Dossier version. Let me just spray it here on me. Oh, it smells so good, guys. Woody geranium. That like The names that they come up with are the perfect description for the scent. This smells so good. This is like husband straight out of the shower, aftershave kind of smell. Woody Geranium is a great, great scent. I can't wait to give this to him. Um, and so thank you to Dossier. I love their fragrances. I stand by them. And I do have a discount code below. I do not make any money off of the discount code. It just gives you some savings. And I got these um, just sent to me with no money. So that, just to let you guys know. Let's get into my St. Laurent bag because this is the medium Lulu. And as you remember, I did a video on the price increase for St. Laurent a few months ago. The current price as I'm recording this video is 2,850 USD, 2,850 plus tax. This is about 250 or 300 less than what I had paid at the St. Laurent Boutique about a month before that price increase. So that price increase went into effect May 1st, 2022. I have been using this as my daily bag. As you know, I'm the Lulu queen. I have had Lulu's for four years. Since 2018, I bought the small size and I had that and used it and loved it for many years. And then I upgraded to the medium and I sold the small. So the medium is in the calf skin. It's so plush. It's my daily carry bag. It's totally a statement piece, but it's not in your face because you just have the one logo. I remember I started my videos and my YouTube channel with the Saint Laurent Lulu in the small, and I loved this bag before it was even popular. And now it's been like, it's blown up. Everybody loves it and now they, they can see why. So here are the top, but I just want you to pay attention to the corners. They look excellent. This is my everyday carry bag, unless I'm going somewhere outdoorsy. So I'm gonna do a what's in my bag because we're about to go out to a soccer game and I'm not gonna bring this to soccer. I'm gonna take everything out and stuff her. It's important to keep such a plush bag stuffed so it does not start 
sagging here on the sides. So always store these um, fully stuffed and sometimes it's better to store them flat. It's totally up to you. So let's do what's in my St. Laurent Lulu. As you can see, I don't keep her too stuffed because this bag can get very heavy quickly. So let's start off with my sunglasses. I did a video on this maybe, I don't know, a year or two ago. These are just amazing. They are the um, Celine sunglasses, as you can see. I love Celine. And so these are my daily sunglasses when I put contacts on. And these are those. I love those. Um, there is an Amazon dupe for these, so I will link that below if you're interested in the Amazon one, and I'll see if the uh, Celine uh, still has it. I'll have them both linked below. But those are my daily sunglasses. I will bring those out to soccer. Next, I have my Prada wallet, which I got this from The Real Real because on the Prada website, it was like double the price, and this was in brand new condition. So this is my full size Prada wallet, black and gold. So this is my daily set that I use and I love. Safiano leather, it's such a great wallet. I highly recommend Prada wallets because they wear so well over the years. Um, I do have my makeup bag, which I wanna show you some of the items that I picked up lately. Um, so this is my mini pochette. I did add a cute little bag charm if it's still available. I'll have it linked below. So I'm using my mini pochette as my makeup bag. And inside, I have these cute little macaroons. This is actually a um, medicine box. So I keep like Tylenol in here. So it's a little macaroon and I keep Tylenol in there in case anybody needs it because I'm a mom and that's life. Um, then I am loving the Charlotte Tilbury Lip and Cheek Blush. This is the most beautiful packaging and do you see this is where you can put it on your lips or your cheeks lip and cheek glow so i love that charlotte tilbury and of course i use my pillow top quite a bit and not today today i have my saint laurent um shiny like plumping lip gloss on in like a bright fuchsia but usually um like on the weekdays i'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. It's that matte classic that everybody knows. Um, I'm on a Charlotte Tilbury kick, can you tell lately? And then what I picked up at Sephora lately is the Flawless Filter um, Sheer Powder because I'm not much of a makeup person, but I like a little bit to, um, you know, like put on your T-zone. And this one like kind of blurs your pores just a little bit. And it's so sheer. So I got the mini at Sephora because at Nordstrom, they only have the full size. So I picked up the mini and I'm loving it. You just need a little travel brush to keep with it. Um, this is my cleansing cloth with alcohol, actually from the St. Laurent Boutique. Isn't that funny? I keep that. I have a couple of these in my bag from the St. Laurent Boutique. So that's just like a hand cleanser and a pen. So my makeup case is kind of like Pretty boring compared to most because I just put on some lip and cheek glow, that sheer powder, some lip products. I like to keep it light during the summer. I'm not a big uh, mascara person in the spring and summer because I, I don't wanna get rub my eyes uh, with allergies. So there's that. I also have my Chanel Double Compact here in the bag. I have tissues because like I said, allergies and grass and um, Lots of soccer. I have my Apple AirPods, so those are a must that a lot of us have. Some asthma medication, and of course, hand sanitizer, Bath and Body Works. I should probably keep that in the makeup bag so it does not leak, but this is the inside of my Lulu. She's perfect. It's important to do pouches if you don't wanna get any kind of yucky stuff on your Lulu or any of your bags. Um, the magnet, whoops, the magnet still works great. There are no scratches, there are no dents, and like I said, this is my everyday bag. And I found lately, um, not that I'm, I, I like to carry it short shoulder, but I've been carrying it long shoulder. I don't know if you can see. It just, it's really comfortable whenever I'm out shopping, and I just keep it on my long shoulder and kind of like this, like a messenger pouch. I can't really, um, crossbody it. Do you see how high it is on me? So 
I don't crossbody the medium. The small was a great crossbody. And then obviously the classic double, double shoulder. So she's still classic. Since 2018, I've been a Lulu girl. I can't tell you how much it's worth it. I honestly think a lot of the luxury houses have been way too much with their price increases, but I feel like YSL and Celine are my two that I still would pay for, and I love the quality, and they are just my preferences um, at the time right now. And so anyway, I wanted to share with you guys what was in there. Don't forget to check out Dossier for the designer-inspired fragrances, and I hope you guys are having a great, busy, safe, healthy summer, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.